So you want to be a master of the martial arts? You think you have what it takes to master body, mind, and soul in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Then I think it might be time for you to pick up your own copy of Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang! This game is a complete passion project by Jezrun Bowman and published on the Nintendo Switch by Godspeed Games. I would also like to thank Godspeed Games for giving the channel its first review code. I feel like a proper game reviewer now. Let's hope I don't mess it up. Though it just came out for the Switch, it was initially released on the PC back in 2018. This game was made by and for fans of the old 70s and 80s martial art movies. The visuals, audio, and characters in this game have all been inspired by that era. Let's begin with the music and sound effects in the game. I think they have done an excellent job here. It's the exact auditory stimulation that you might expect from watching these style of flicks. The sound of all the punches and kicks are satisfying and no complaints about the character voices. Each character sounds like they should, which is impressive since they only have one voice actor credited. Each of the 20 stages also come with their own backing track that fits the environment you are fighting in. It is nice that they have so many unique environments, however, the graphics on the other hand aren't so great to look at. They almost look like this game has been ported from a Sega Saturn or something. Now, I understand it's a small studio. And for the $10 price tag, the graphics are kind of forgivable. But somehow, they still manage to overpower the Switch, causing it to lose frames here and there, which can also make the controls feel a bit sluggish at times. And now that we're on the topic of controls, it's a good time to mention the gameplay. Great transition, Chris. Give yourself a pat on the back. The actual controls are fine. There aren't very many combos in the game, and what little combos they have are very easy to pull off. So most of your focus will be on the timing of your attacks and counters. There aren't any Hydukens or Kamehameha waves to worry about. This is all just about body as your weapon. So just punches and kicks, just like traditional martial arts are supposed to be fought. Oh yeah, and weapons. I get that they wanted to throw something into the mix to make things more interesting. But for some styles, the weapons kind of fit. Like the ninja with the throwing stars. Or the wrestler with the rib club. What? But yeah. The fighting feels fine from a gameplay perspective. The AI on the other hand is absolute trash. Which kind of sucks because if you don't have a friend nearby to play with, you're stuck with the AI. There is no online mode. I started by trying to play the game properly and the AI was being impossible to beat. It seemed like they were just mashing buttons sporadically and randomly. Usually in a fighting game, the AI feels a bit more reactive to what you're doing, or will maintain some sort of pressure on you. But I feel like if you were able to give these AIs enough space, they would look like a spastic mosh pit dude just flailing in the wind. So naturally I thought, I could exploit this stupid AI. So I grabbed my boy Bruce Lee, oh sorry, Jeet Kune Do, they had to just call the characters by their fighting styles, I imagine to avoid some sort of licensing issues, and decided to use nothing but my nunchucks, which is just mashing the Y button, occasionally repositioning or jumping. And sure enough, I beat the game. Now to be fair, I later found out there was a difficulty setting. So surely I couldn't use the same tactics to beat the game on hard, Wrong! I beat it with no issues! I even got two perfect victories! The only difference in difficulty seems to be the AI mashing buttons faster. But once you lock them in with one move, they lose just as easy. I even beat tournament mode with Lotus Palm Lady using the same tactics on hard. So if you don't have anyone to play with, I don't think I can recommend this game for you. But if you do, then this game is kind of a treat. Because sure, I had a few gripes with it, but what other game can you think of that lets you pair legendary fighters against each other? Like Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Chuck freaking Norris to name a few. This game is definitely not a perfect game by any means, but I can't say that for $10 you shouldn't buy it. If you're a fan of the classic martial arts or just fighting games in general, then this is a pretty special game to have in your collection. I could definitely see myself busting out this game with a group of my buddies, matching up all these legends of martial arts. If you like this review, you can leave me a like, you can give me a subscribe, or leave me a comment down below with your best Chuck Norris joke. But until next time, keep on questing.